In this video, I want to tell you how to appear enigmatic and how to change perception that you have on people using just your own energy. So we will talk about art of energy manipulation and energy transmutation in a way that will make you have a lasting impression that is going to leave everyone wondering what kind of person you are, who are you, who is she. First and foremost, I want to say that this is the energy that every woman possesses. This is something that every one of us can cultivate like this. Very easy. We just have to ground back into our divine feminine nature. And in this video, I'm going to share a few tips and tricks to do that. Again, this is not about how to appear someone you're not. How to appear mysterious when that's not your essence at all. This video is about transmuting, changing your own energy. To correspond to that energy that you want to elude. So there is no lie here. There is no appearing inauthentic or doing something that you wouldn't normally do. Because what I'm going to share is natural magnetism of woman. Something that in the busy capitalistic world we unfortunately lose more often than not. So the very first thing that changes your energy over time and the more you practice it, the more your energy is going to show a new, fresh, mysterious side of you. It is self-ritualization. Ritualize yourself. Imagine that you were a deity in ancient Egypt and you are obliged to perform certain rituals every day to upkeep your divine form so this can come in many shapes or forms and it does not have to be extraordinary it can be something that you use every day for example when you're making your morning coffee let it be a specific mark just for that purpose smell the coffee while you do it pour it slowly add some cinnamon in it with intention stir it stir it clockwise to take in some energy or anti-clockwise to release certain energy right pay attention to textures to sensations and same thing will come when you're choosing how to look right your makeup is not just an act of applying products to your face it's a ritual and choose what is going to symbolize for you it would be wrong to not mention my elixirs, which elixir is the energy perfume. This is essential oil blend with 100% natural oils, subtle, beautiful, intimate scent that you can only smell when you're close to the skin. And it's going to shift your energy towards the intention that is within the bottle. So I would recommend Majestic Elixir, which is the elixir of royal energy. And when you apply every morning sacred oils to your body, 100% natural, you know, so aesthetic, um, it cultivates a certain way of treating yourself. You cannot treat yourself in a different way. You cannot afford to not use divinity. There's no way you're not going to notice your own divinity when you make yourself into a deity that you worship every day. And sacred oils, especially energy perfumes, because they uh, create this aura around you that you carry throughout the day. So something that every similar video on the topic mentions is being confident. You've got to be confident. But what does that really imply? For me personally, it means being authentic in who you are and being very confident in who you are and the way you appear. I will explain. When you want to do something or when you have an intuitive nudge to act a certain way, and a lot of people talk about fake until you make it, so pretend to be so confident when you, you actually may not be that. I don't resonate with that. What I resonate with is accepting your own divinity. When you understand on a deeper level that truly there are no rules, <laughs> everything, the way you're supposed to act, the way you're supposed to look, all of it is just made up concepts of humans. And I choose to trust my own divinity way more than I trust all of these social constructs. How I flow is the right way. So the confidence is not just this put up, like, uh, put up mask that like makes you so in, in their face, you know what I mean? 
rather is the understanding that nothing that I do is wrong or can be perceived wrong or will form a bad opinion of me. Because opinions are going to form regardless of what I do. And if someone wants to find a way to hate you or to dislike you, they'll find it even if you're behaving perfectly, right? So being so grounded in your own knowledge, in your own weirdness, in your own quirkiness, and allowing it to flow, right? I love my hat. I'm going to sit in a restaurant with, with my hat on, even though that's considered rude, that's gonna get some stares, right? I am confident that that's what makes me feel good about myself, that's what makes me feel, you know, so mysterious and enigmatic. So, so I'm doing it. It's that easy. Um, I'm allowing myself to show up in my authentic way. And because I'm doing it so confidently, I'll make them doubt whether they're right in judging me right instead of being so unsure about it that i'm gonna maybe like saying ah i'm gonna take it out because yeah, i look weird right when you are so confident in your desires and you can act on your desire people start thinking that something is wrong with them for not understanding your ways talking about style it's also very important so two things that are style wise that i would recommend if you do want to show up in an enigmatic mysterious way and be irresistible and very attractive are going to be vintage shops thrift stores and accessories and everything you see right now on me is thrifted thrifted or is from a vintage store uh, this is my way of ensuring that i look super unique ensuring that uh, my style is something that cannot be replicated and it allows me to find accessories such as this hat or these gloves that are unusual and interesting right and when we have such an accessory people are inclined to think of us as more enigmatic and mysterious and more confident because only a confident person can rock some unusual uh, seemingly accessories and uh, talking about accessories choose unusual accessories if that is what authentically resonates with you right so i'm talking about ankle bracelets i'm talking about some interesting nail design that can only be visible if you look closely some subtle earrings right some gloves um, maybe a, a little charm on your bag something that not everyone is going to notice but they don't even have to and underwear underwear make sure you always wear luxurious beautiful lace feminine underwear that's also very important because no one has to see it but you you have to know you're this mysterious beautiful feminine divine being you're not trying to show that off it's just the nature of who you are and the same thing with elixirs the why i recommend energy perfumes to every girl out there is because using energy perfume not only shifts your energy right to embody who you want to be it also creates this subtle ritual that only includes you visualizing is very very important throughout the day visualize things all the time get a habit of it listen you walk down the street imagine the light coming out of you and everyone being blinded by it just try it or uh, if you want to make an impression imagine uh, that each step that you take like the footprint that you leave behind are uh, like lights up with flowers or like this beautiful glow imagine that when you're when you're sitting like this imagine that um you know your energy fills the room like visualize it filling the room you're going to notice a very interesting thing because other people can sense those energies and that also puts you in a kind of dreamy state where you flow where you really like in between fairy tale and reality which also gives that extra softness and extra like enigma to your energy for sure and the bottom line of it all is being in a moment the more you're able to be present the more you notice about people around, about beautiful details, and uh, the more you can create beautiful life for yourself, right? So ground in the moment, create rituals, use my energy perfumes. I create amulets and perfumes for you to shift your energy and to stay in it, right? To fine tune your energy, to make it the exact flavor, tasty, beautiful, attractive energy that is going to draw everyone in.
Well, thank you for watching this video all the way. I hope that it got you inspired because you and talking about yourself should be the most inspirational thing for you. And I will see you in the next video soon. Bye-bye.